Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Zero to Game Dev Hero. Today we are going to implement a game over screen. To do this, we will learn about UI. UI stands for User Interface. When we talk about user interface, we are talking about text, buttons, health bars and all other stuff that displays information to users and helps them to interact with your game or software. In our game, we want to show some text on the screen and give the player the possibility to restart the scene. For now, we just display a message to the console when the bird collides with something. That's not exactly what we want. We want to change the scene to a game over scene. The game over scene should have the text game over and a button to restart the game. So let's first create a scene. In our scene folder, we can right click, then go on create and click on scene. Now we need to give it a name. So let's call it game over. Then double click to open it. And now we have a new empty scene. Here we want to add our UI. Unity has built in UI components already. To use them, we need to create a canvas. We can right click here, go on UI and then on canvas. Now we have a canvas. A canvas is a component that is needed to display UI components. All your UI components need to be inside a canvas. A canvas has a lot of settings, but we don't need to go through all of them now. We just need to change a few things. But before we set the canvas up, we can create a text. If we do that first, you will better understand what each setting in the canvas component does. To create a text, we click on the canvas. Then right click UI and here we choose Text Text Mesh Pro. We will get this window here. It will ask us if we want to install Text Mesh Pro. Text Mesh Pro is a Unity package that handles text very well. We need to import it, so let's click on Import TMP Essentials. Now we have this text in our scene or in our canvas and we can't see it because it's exactly in the middle and it's white. So here on the right side, we can change the color under the Text Mesh Pro text UI component to something different. For example, black. And now you can already see the text in the middle of our screen. Let's go back to our canvas game object. You maybe have already noticed that instead of a normal transform, we have a rack transform. It has a few more options than the default transform and is only used for UI. We will check out those options later. Then we have a few more components on the canvas. The only one we need at the moment is the canvas scaler. Here we want the UI scale mode to be scale with screen size. What this does is that the text will now scale up when the screen gets bigger and scale down when the screen gets smaller. Here we need to set up a reference resolution. We want that to be, for example, 1920 by 1080. So the normal full HD resolution. Now the UI will scale always with your screen size and is optimized for this resolution. Now if we click here on another resolution, for example um, 1610 or 4K or free aspect, you can see that the text always scales up with your resolution. But let's go back to full HD. We can go into our text again and change the text here in the Text Mesh Pro text component as well. So instead of new text, we can type in game over like this. We can make it bigger as well if you want to. So for example, font size 100. And you can already see that something happens to the text. This is because the box where the text fits inside 
is smaller than the text we have written. So we can go here to scene, double click on the text and here you can see that this is the text box where we can write our text and our text is way bigger than this. So here in our rect transform we have a width and a height and this is the width and the height of the text box. So we can here scale up the width for example to, yeah, let's make something like this or let's make it 600 and the height can be for example 100. We want the text to be centered as well so here in our text component we can click on line center and then on middle and now it's exactly in the center of this text box. We can add a button as well so we click on canvas now UI and then click on button Text Mesh Pro. This will add a button to our scene but our button is smaller than our game over text so let's scale it up as well. So let's make it 600 for example and height 100 and we can move it down with the arrows here or you can move them as well here on the rack transform. If you want to, you can as well change the text here. So inside the button, there is this text component. If you click on this one, you have exactly the same text component as for the game over, but this is attached to a button and is always inside the button. So here we can write restart and make it a little bit bigger. For example, 48 and give it another color. Yeah, that's fine. Now we can go to our game view and you can see we have a game over and a restart button. On the button game object, if you scroll down in the inspector, you can see this on click box here. This is the on click event. This event will trigger every time when we press this button. We can, for example, attach a script to it to tell the button to run the script every time it is pressed. We can add an event here. And now you have different possibilities here. For this, we need a new script. So let's create a new script. In our scripts folder, let's create a script and call it restart. Double click on the restart script and open it. Here in our restart script, we can create a new method. We have already learned about methods, so let's create one. This method needs to be public because we need to access it from outside of the script. So let's write public void res restart game like this. Inside this method, we can uh, write debug log and write restart game. We need this script just to test out our button so later we will change it but for now it's okay. Let's go back to Unity then in our button game object we can drag and drop our restart script to it somewhere at the bottom and now this button has the restart script attached to it. Now here we need to reference the script. So drag and drop this component to this field here. And you cannot drag and drop the script from, from your um, project folder directly onto this on click because the script needs to be attached to something. So first attach it, then drag and drop it on this field. And now you can choose a function here that you want to be triggered when the button is clicked. So here you have a few different things and in the bottom we have the restart script. So this restart is exactly our component that we have added to this game object. And here we can see that there is our restart game method. And if we click on this, this is all wired up now and 
now when you run the scene and you click on the restart button, you will see the text in the console. So let's go to the console and let's hit play. Now you can see every time I hit restart, something happens. In the next video, we will connect our both scenes so that you can change from one scene to another and back. But for this lesson, that's enough, I guess. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my content, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and if you have any feedback or questions, leave a comment. So thank you for watching and see you next time.